Fundamental question. What is the reason why you listen to music? I don't know. I know what it is for me, but everybody probably has a different thought on that. So what's the reason? Why why would you why do you listen to music? Well, one of the things that I like about music is that it, it it's a catalyst for triggering great memories. And uh, when you get up to my age, memories at some point gets to be pretty much all you got left. So enjoy it while you can. And in uh and and just, you know, going down rabbit hole after rabbit hole today and and having all kinds of technical issues I've had to fight. I finally managed to record a video, uh, although you'll see at, toward the end of it, it messed up a little bit, but uh, it doesn't change the audio, just the picture jumps around. I, I At that point, I was just too frustrated to, um, it was either, you know, start over and try to record it again, in which case I would have thrown my laptop across the room and or just good enough good enough and sometimes you gotta be you gotta be to the point where you know um good enough is good enough you know don't don't have to be perfect so uh and with that said let's go ahead and listen to this this is um this is a a a group of a bunch of different country music uh icons who got together, I, I believe this probably is some sort of, a, um, you know, a Grand Ole Opry sort of uh, um, show that they put on, maybe a Hee Haw episode even, because uh, a lot of the people from Hee Haw, that kind of feel to it, uh, and certain people that are, you know, synonymous with Hee Haw are involved. Of course, you could say that about any country music star, back in the 70s. This was from January 1972 uh, on uh, TV 48, 24 TV. I don't know. Anyhow, it's had uh, over a million, almost two million views over the years. Uh, and uh, I, I just found it fun to watch and listen to. And what more can you ask for than something fun that's fun to listen to, enjoyable to listen to, well done, brings back great memories. Um, what's not to like? Now, it's not traditional classic, hey, here's this singer, and we're going to listen sing a song. This is a whole bunch of people. When I say a whole bunch, I'm talking about uh, Merle Haggard, uh, uh, Glenn Campbell, Buck Owens, Jerry Reed, Mel Tillis, uh, Johnny Cash, June Carter Cash, uh, Freddie Hart, uh, Minnie Pearl. Um, I mean, it's just amazing group of very talented people. So anyhow, let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it and you'll see what I mean. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring a ding a ding the bell. And here's a whole bunch of superstar country music, superstars singing a whole bunch of weird stuff. And that's just the way I guess I have to put it. Here we go. Some of the best country music impressions I ever heard. How about doing Marty Robbins? No, no, you know the wrong impression, Fritz. Yes, sir. Hey, no, I love impressions. I really do. Truthfully, I can't hardly do a show without getting asked for them anymore. I know what you mean. Do a little marking. Okay. I told Mary about. I told her about. Mary tried to forget me. Mary took me back again. Okay, oh, new book. Oh, the sun's gonna shine in my
love your impressions. Why don't you do Johnny for me? Johnny yeah. Cash, you kill me. I'll do it. Now, we'll, we'll, come on, let's do it. Do, do Johnny Cash. I'll tell you what, you keep an eye out for him, not right. We'll watch okay. for him. Okay. okay. Here we okay, go. Miss you. We got married in a fever. <laughs> Now you'll notice in here that Merle Haggard even shows the way Johnny Cash plays the guitar. Johnny Cash gets way out up on the neck instead of holding back and playing the full guitar. He just like plays the neck of it. It's a one of his idiosyncrasy, and yet here Merle Haggard would notice that and emulated it. medley with a boy named Sue. Well, my daddy left home when I was three. He didn't leave very much for my mom. He took his old guitar and left the bottle of food. Now, I don't blame him because he run ahead, but the meanest thing that my daddy ever did was before he left, he wouldn't name me Sue. Well, he must have thought that it was quite a joke, and it got a lot of laughs from lots of folks. Seems I had to fight my whole life through. Some gal would giggle and I'd turn red, and some guy'd laugh and I'd bust his head, I'll tell you. Life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. remember him is uh from Smokey and the Bandit right he was the guy driving the truck with uh Burt Reynolds and um uh, Sally Field they went in all them and my luck was so good I could do no wrong I just kept on rolling and controlling them both finally they just took the hand clean and said son when you hot you hot and I said sing it boy when you hot you hot one more time when you hot you hot well I put all the money in and let it roll them again when you hot you hot sing boy Yes, ma'am. 
public again. I stole the whole time in the hope that that would shut your mouth. videos like that 1972 okay i was born in 58 so i was what 14 years old when that came out when i was 14 that wasn't cool i did like that when i was 14 um i didn't really like that until i was probably 34 that's when i probably got back into really enjoying country music as a I don't know. I guess I liked it back then, sure enough, but I don't know. I don't know. What the hell do I know? I don't remember half the things that happened in my life as I'm getting old. Anyhow, that was a lot of fun. Haven't seen some of those peoples in years. Um, most of them are, like I said at the beginning, uh, people that were on Hee Haw on a regular basis. Um, not real familiar with Freddie Hart, um, the guy in the blue suit that came in at the very end. But, of course, everybody knows Miss Minnie Pearl everybody so anyhow that was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed that as much as i did i thought that was fun to listen to for a little bit so give me a thumbs up like and subscribe ring a ding the bell if you want to hear more funny stuff like this let me know in the comments down below and we'll get into it all right friends thanks